Well, for years, exonerees in Maryland have been fighting for compensation for the time that was taken for them. They were sent to jail for crimes that they didn't commit, and when they got out, they were given little to nothing to right the wrongs that were done to them. WMER 2 News' Eddie Kadem has been working with the Innocent Project and exonerees telling their stories for a couple of years now. He joins us now live with the latest. Eddie, uh, tell us about this big win that happened at the State House in Annapolis today. Yeah, good evening, Kelly. The Senate passed through the second reader of the exoneree compensation bill. Essentially, what this will do will make it easier and faster for these men and women to get compensation. Kirk Bloodsworth was the first death row convict to be exonerated by DNA. He spent nine years in prison and two years on death row for a crime he didn't commit. When they slammed that 300 pound door shut, my life was over. Kirk was exonerated and was given $300,000 in compensation. That money was mainly used for legal fees. I don't, I don't consider um, getting any kind of, uh, you know, compensation one way or the other, any kind of reward. The Innocence Project has worked alongside exonerees like Bloodsworth for years to help them with their cases and to advocate for them. The Maryland exoneree compensation bill is currently being considered in Annapolis. It would make compensation equal to the median household income for the time they wrongfully served. It would take the decision on compensation out of the hands of the Board of Public Works. Nathaniel Erb, a policy advocate with the Innocence Project, explained the change to me. Can go to uh, an administrative law judge, can have their case heard, can prove by clear and convincing evidence that they themselves were exonerated. It wasn't an uh, issue within the court system that let them out. It was an actual case of innocence. Uh, and then they themselves can receive compensation for the state for the time that they were forced to be in prison. One of the men who's testified for the bill is Walter Lomax, who the bill is named after. I talked with him last year about his decades in prison for a crime he didn't commit and waiting years before seeing any compensation. Now he's on the front line fighting for others. Each individual experiences trauma, so it is difficult to fathom what they're dealing with. That is, unless you have had a similar experience, you will never be able to make them whole again because they will never be the same. The best you can hope is that they learn to live with this, with what has happened to them. What this body can do is pass this legislation so that individuals who have been erroneously convicted can be compensated in a timely fashion. Yeah, the Innocence Project and the exonerees that I talked to say they expect this to pass through the Senate, pass through the House, get signed into law because it passed through the Senate last year. But unfortunately, it was one of the many bills that got left in limbo because of the pandemic. Live in downtown Baltimore, Eddie Kadem, WMAR 2 News.